On this episode of Picker Road, we're thrifting in Las Vegas. And later, we're going to go to a local casino and try some frozen custard. And of course, we're going to take you along for the adventure, as long as you join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. Let's go, William. Ooh, look, the shelves look pretty full. I'm Absolutely. excited. Ooh, we've got a giant eagle dream catcher. Fly like an eagle. Woohoo! Oh, look, little metal demi tasse cups. Oh, they're from Ikea. Look at that. <laughs> what do you keep in here, William? Stuff. Stuff. Ooh, what's in the box? Let's see. Womp womp. I've got some baskets up here. Is it bigger than a bread box? Uh, let's see what's in it. I'm guessing not bread. <laughs> Nothing. Kind of a pearl texture there, kind of nice. Oh, look at this. We've been seeing a lot of these lately. I know. The masks that are carved from coconuts are so collectible. And he's just a little souvenir piece. So I think we're going to leave him. It's a pie. <laughs> it better be $3.14. <laughs> We have a little spinning wheel. I wonder what that's for. Just a little decoration, I guess. Hmm. Oh, and these look like, what is it? The Love Is characters from the 70s, 60s and 70s. They look like it. I don't know if they're meant to be or not. All right, as we turn the corner here, we're going into a section where we have all sorts of little goodies. These very common green vases. Oh, and look. Gone with the wind. Olivia de Havilland as Melanie. Unfortunately, those are not collectible. But they are such a piece of uh, movie history. And look at this. What is this? Oh, that's heavy. It's really nice glass. It is marked. It is the Franklin Mint 1987, it looks like. Hmm. What is that? Just a piece of... I don't think anything was supposed to be there, do you? Yeah. Franklin Mint usually did, like, pop culture-related stuff. But, but what is this, I wonder? I have no clue. Okay, so we looked it up, and as I said, this is a signed piece. It's Franklin Mint. It's signed right there. The artist's name is James Carpenter. The name of the piece is The Iceberg, and... It's beautiful. The only thing is it's supposed to have little me metal penguins on it. And obviously it doesn't have those, but it's really a beautiful piece of glass. It's very heavy. And I think somebody could use it as a display stand, maybe for something else. I have a lot of small animals. I'm going to see if I have something that would be nice on there. I still think it's a good pickup. It's a beautiful piece of glass. Let's put it in the cart, Will. You think there's any money in there? I don't know. Let's see. Oh. No. He's missing a stopper. It's signed Flora. And I might think about getting it, but his little foot is completely chipped off. So alas, I think that it's going to have to stay here. Let's see. We have a clock back here. It kind of looks like a Mikasa. It is made in Germany. That's always a good sign. And let's see. They went six ninety nine, but it doesn't doesn't really do anything for me because it looks like one of those very common pieces. I want to look at this candlestick here. That says crystal, lead crystal. Twenty four percent lead crystal made in the USA. Made in the USA. Um, looks like there's only one. And going down here, ooh, oh. look at this, a Frida Kahlo mug. Frida is a very very popular artist. 
the mug looks like just a little bit of dirt on there looks like it's in very good condition I don't think we're gonna pick that up it's brand new looking nice looks like no one's ever used it what do we have here another piece of glass oh oh it's terribly chipped who makes this oh it's Rosenthal studio line they went eight dollars for it and I would probably pick it up if it weren't so chipped but it's terribly chipped all along that's a shame shame when things like that happen look at this little bird the glue is coming off it's not not very well made I'm afraid it's it's a stay and oh look at this little boss here it is $8.99 it's uh what does that say Gal galway galway galwar it's an r at the end hmm. and it's irish crystal is that another one back there i see really oh no i just saw a different piece of crystal yeah no but at nine dollars i don't think there's enough room balik yes waterford always i don't know that one that well let's see what else we have I looked at that bird. I didn't see anything on it, though. And it's, it's unmarked. And, and again, they went, well, they went $6 for it. Unmarked. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Very nice sentiments. Oh, look down here, Will. Isn't that cute? It's a kangaroo and her baby. Oops, they want to turn it over, they're going to fall off. Oh, she's part of a, a salt and pepper. She's not very well made, i sad to say. And what's that sign say? Are you going after the car? I was going after the car. I'm curious. And it is a Chevy a... Blazer. Okay. Okay, There then. you go. When you want to feel the need for speed, and speed is 45 miles an hour. <laughs> That's a nice vase with the wrap around. Way too big to ship. Any very marking? Light. It's very light with no marking. Hmm. I'm looking here. I don't want to miss anything. This is all a candle. And it's a very fun candle. I know that these are not glassy babies. Two ninety nine. Any marking? There is something on there. I don't know why they put it over. Does that one say it? Someone peeled that one already. Can you even see what that says? It just says made oh, look, in it's... Poland. Oh, really? It's got chipping on it there. And that's obviously flashed. Let's check out the vase section here. Seen mostly clear glass. Down here, it's a pretty lavender, but it's not very expensive or well made. It's a pretty hard on there. What does this say? Relieve stress, play golf. I wonder if all golfers have that sentiment. What do we have down here? Just some more florist type pieces. Down here we have those. Again, very, very inexpensive looking shall we check out the mugs sure on the way over to the mugs we hit a cart that had been brought out it looks like maybe it's been a little bit picked over oh i don't see anything in it all right continuing on all right let's see what we have in the mugs who is that i don't recognize that person oh, that yeah. must be a I feel like I recognize who that is. I don't. Is I think it's, on the bottom? No. I think it's a private person. What are these back here, though? Hmm. They are by Mikasa. Let's see. And now remember, we're starting to look for Easter items. Because mm -hmm. we're going to do Easter in August with Danny the Niche Lady. So we got to look for bunnies and... All sorts of Eastery items. You're so tall. Can you see back? Do you see any yeah, let's, let's artists? Let's do some. Let's do some random pulls. What do we have? Donuts. 
eat more whole foods. I love that. Let's see, another random bowl. A line. Let's see what's way back here. It's great to be tall. Oh, more Valentine's Day than Easter. Yes. And let's do one more random pull. What is this? Oh, it's Mario, but he's wearing on the side. Uh-huh. Super Mario Brothers. All right, looking down. Do we see anything down here? Horses. Horses. I don't see any rabbits, do you? Nope, they're wascally. <laughs> Color. No, very, very poorly done. And it looks like it's flashed. So what's all this Tipperary crystal I see? Tipperary. Is it's it a long, a long way? way? <laughs> okay, these are placemats. Obviously by this artist that has been a large donation. I'm uh, curious because I don't see anything crystal. Right. Very... And, and look at this, it's all, look at all these things from this artist. Wow. Wow. Oh, look at this guy. Oh no, he's got a huge chip. He's a, sha a cheese shaker. Why does he have to have a chip? Sadly, I put him back. Look at that bowl. Very large. Has a Mikasa look to it. I'm hard sick over that cheese shaker. He's so fun. These are all pretty common pieces, it looks like. Let's go down here and see if we see anything. A little votive. Oh, look at that. Um, is that called a tangine? Yes, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. Ma'am? Yes. It's, it's going to be very heavy. Yeah, I'm going to need two hands for this one. So... Tangines, I believe, are Moroccan, and you can steam vegetables in them. And meat. And meat. And serve. And if you've ever seen The Man Who Knew Too Much with Jimmy Stewart, I love that the three fingers, you pick it up with three fingers, sir. Monsieur, monsieur. Now you have to go watch that movie. Mm -hmm. All who right. Makes it? It's World Market. Of course. Love the color. It's very beautiful. I think it's a very specialty piece though, so we are gonna leave it for someone else who hopefully is hosting a Moroccan dinner. And now we are in the kitchen section. We're gonna see what we can find. Gold Coast? Gold Coast. That's a casino in Las Vegas. That was obviously a promotional item. Are you a fan? I'm a big fan. We have some maple leaves, dishes, very inexpensively made. We're looking for rabbits and anything that might be Easter related. Take a look at these baggies or crafting baggies. Boy, if you need pencils, there you go. Let's see, this is kind of the mishmash section. And sometimes you can find Little items that have been left here for one reason or another. I usually don't spend, honestly, too much time here. It's broken. Um, but we'll go a quick peruse. Let me just see. Okay. Let's go check out the art. Well, there's a bunny. But he's kind of big to do for whatnot, so... Unfortunately, we're going to leave him. Well, I don't see anything in the art, William. Can you check out the vinyls? Ooh. I always enjoy looking through the vinyls at this Goodwill because I have actually had some really good finds here before. About a year ago in this location, I came over here and there was a mint condition copy of Meet the Beatles here for $2. I sold it for $100. So let's see what we can find. Oh. Joe sent me. Let's see. I'm not quite sure which Joe that was. Guy Lombardo, a Partridge Family Christmas, Eddie Arnold, Johnny Mathis, all the standards, the kind of ones you expect to see in a Goodwill. Hopefully there's one just peeking through that's not expected. 
What do we have? I wouldn't even mind some nice 80s or 70s rock bands. Who's that? I don't know who I don't know who that is. Hey, there we go. Right here. Please let the disc be in there. Huh, in this condition for 99 cents. This is a great album. 99 cents. All right. Now I'm encouraged. There might be some good stuff in here. The first family. If I had a dollar for every time I saw one of those. I'm very curious, though, seeing some ABBA in here gives me hope that there might be some interesting finds. Let's go through this row here and see. And... Thoroughly Modern Millie with Julie Andrews. And... Let's see, what's this? Steve Lawrence. Okay, I'm going to actually pull them out so they're a little easier to see. Bobby Vinton. Well, I'm thinking that ABBA might be our big find in here. Let's do one more. If we don't find something, we move on. Oh. Is that uh, Al Martino, who was in The Godfather, of course? His character was based on Frank Sinatra. Although Sinatra always said that it wasn't. We know it was. Let's see. Anything else? Nope. <laughs> Another copy of The First Family. All right. That's our find right there. 99 cents. I will take that all day long. Okay. We're going to do a walk through the Christmas section. Every place is doing Christmas in July. So we have a lot of Christmas things coming out. You see one of those dancing trees that lights up? Oh, yeah, he is. So. He probably needs new batteries. Christmas cat mug, but it's chipped. We have a little Christmas tree shaker. Again, only one though. Only one little shaker. What's in this baggie here? Just like some partial nativity. Partial, very partial nativity. Oh, and here we have lots of ribbons and bows. Uh oh. What do you see? There. He's a hoot. Gosh, it took a long time to get there today. And that is made holiday time. That's a Walmart product. Oh, look at these little candle holders up here. Oh, that's one. Oh, it's part of something. Mm hmm. Now look at him. He looks older to me. He does. He looks like an older guy. Look at his face. And somebody's been messing with him in back. Let's see what that says. I don't know what that is. That just is part of his instructions, I guess. But he definitely looks like an older Santa. Anything on his feet? Yeah, yes, he does. Made in Taiwan. See, he's, he's a little older guy. And there's rollers. Yeah, he probably walks. Well, for $2, we're going to get him and see if we can get him working. Let's see, what else else do we have? Sometimes you have to dig to find your Christmas present. Always. And that's just scary. All right, we have one more aisle. Let's check it out. Oh, isn't this, um, I think it's Dreamsicles. Oh, it's all broken. Aw. This is such a shame. So many pieces are unusable because they are truly broken not just a little chip got a holiday scene there all sorts of christmas goodies this is a stations huh, casino stations giveaway. casino giveaway you see so many of those in las vegas and here's one antler to clip on. Cookie cutters. And an incomplete nativity scene. Let's see, now we get into the wreaths. Look at all these wreaths. All you could ask for. OK, 
Okay, let's take a look through the purses. Let's see if there's anything. There's this little guy, Aldo. What does that say? Agenda. Don't know that name. Looking for leather or a name brand. What is that? That looks like it's hand tooled and looks like it's probably from maybe South America or Mexico. A little hand tooled piece with no price on it. Hmm. A little crudely made though. I don't think it's that cute. Keep on looking. More hobo than boho. And we have Beverly Hills Polo Club. Not too bad a condition. Six ninety nine. Now wait a minute. This may be of interest. I'm not overly familiar with this brand. Um, Beverly Hills Polo Club, but it's clean. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. All the rhinestones are there. Just a rhinestone purse. There we go. Okay, so we looked it up and Beverly Hills Polo Club is definitely a brand that sells. And since this looks like it's in really nice condition, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. Okay, continuing on. Very boho looking piece there. And that is a little too well used, I think. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and take our treasures and check out. Let's head to the next Goodwill. Let's go to the newer one on the strip. Well, the shelves look nice and full. Oh, look at these little cows. Unfortunately, they're terribly chipped. Otherwise, they're kind of cute. You don't find them moving <laughs> yeah moving to that side of the shelf what are these are those more those are more salt and peppers oh that's nice a little cup of kindness is that a salt and pepper or a box hmm that's an interesting little piece it's chipped though look at this what is this a little rocking chair and these are all salt and peppers they went $7.99 for that, but that's a, a little steep for that piece. And here we have cats and a pig, okay? A pig with slippers. Kind of cute, but don't think they go together. Look at this teapot. That is lovely. Oh, the flowers on that. Anything on the bottom? I don't know. Let's look. Marshalls. Uh, Marshalls. They want $10 for that. That would not give me enough profit. Oh, look down here on this shelf, Will. We have some marble coasters with wood inlaid. Those are kind of nice. A little bit heavy to ship, but very attractive. Unfortunately, it is cracked. So we're going to go ahead and leave those. Look at this bowl here. It kind of is reminiscent of a McCoy. It is not. It is a real kitchen yellowware. It just looks kind of old fashioned with that kind of soft glaze and the color yellow. And let's look down here. Look at the size of that. Wow. That is enormous. R2. R2. R2-D2. Beep boop. Beep boop 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 boop. Little ramekins. These are always very, very handy. We have quite a few of these and I use them a lot. Let's see all the glassware down here. If anything is fancy schmancy. Nice heart dish. It looks like a Mikasa. These are kind of ordinary not too special this one's interesting here all that work on there although i don't think it is old it doesn't feel right to be old but attractive 
Oh, that's a pretty glass gravy. That's a Mikasa piece. Let's look at this. It's a nice piece of glass, but doesn't see any markings. I'll leave that. Look at that piece. Oh, I like the gold. I know. It's kind of a nice touch, huh? Let's see who does that. Ah, oh, it's party light. Attractive piece. Oh, look at that. That's a really big candy dish, I would presume. All the M&Ms. No, yeah, really. They want, they only want $10 for it. That's great. Boy, if that was in a color, like a blue or something, that would be a quick pickup. Let's see this dish here. Looks like it's hand painted, made in Italy, $5.99. That's a great price. The problem is this is too big to ship. And I've got so many platters type things in the boutique that I think I'm going to leave that. Looks like a Mikasa type piece. Let's see this. This is Southampton stoneware. Japan. Japan. We have some little canisters here. The nice restoring. And what is this? This is a, oh, these are always so useful. A non-slip liner for baking. Get all your baked goods. Oh, and look at this. Ready-made copper kitchen utensils. They want $7.99 for that. That's really not bad. And you can shake your martini. Ooh. Shaken, not stirred. We have lots of cups and travel mugs. Looks like we have lots of crafting tools. Some thank you cards, always nice to have. And that is some sort of tool. It looks like a little metal brush. Hmm. And we got these are great. Look at that color for Christmas coming up. For anyone who's crafting. Most of these are all crafting items. So I'm not seeing anything that I want to pick up down here. Of course, you have little baubles and beads. Here we are in the mug section. And we're going to see if we find anything outstanding. I don't need Google. My mother knows everything truth. Oh, well, that's interesting. You have the strawberries on the outside. A little hard to sip. I know. And look at these. These are older. Those are very vintage. I'm sure if we hunted, we could find the saucers, but they don't particularly interest me. Look it's at the size of this one. I know. I'm like, goodness. Imagine how much coffee, tea, and hot chocolate that would hold. Now that's a mug. That's a mug. I do like the gold in there. We have Albuquerque. It looks like I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Yeah. Oh, look what at What is this that cat. from? It's Bugs Bunny. Oh, that's true. Oh my goodness. Oh no, he's cracked. Oh, oh if he wasn't cracked, he would be such a good find. Oh, darn it. That's too bad. Oh, look at the pink inside. Hot chick. Ray Dunn. I've got a lot of Ray Dunn, so I think I'm going to leave it. But hot chick would be very appropriate for today. It's over 100 degrees in Las Vegas. And it's still morning. Okay, now we're in the vase section. Oh, it's so light. That's plastic. Huh. It surprised me. Down here we have a red vase. And let's see. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's pretty. That's a very pretty little glaze. Looks like the one we just found up in Mesquite, doesn't it? Unfortunately, it's terribly chipped down here. And look at this little purple one down here. 
I don't think it's very old. And this little pink one. Now these little pink ones are kind of attractive, but let's see. They're not marked. That one's chipped. Darn. Ooh, there's crock up here. I what know. There? It says, let's look at that. That says, it's obviously a repro. Uh, it's Henry McKenna Sour Mash Bourbon Whiskey from Fairfield, Nelson County, Kentucky, Kentucky since 1855. Let's see what that says. It says it's ten dollars, and what does it say? Use of this bottle, federal law forbids sale, or or I reuse. Reuse. Oh, reuse. There, I see. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Well, look at these. These are very pretty candle holders. They're only 99 cents each, but they're very delicate. Very, very pretty. We have some little votive holders here. Oh, look at this little angel. She's got a chipped wing. Oh, that's too bad. Look at these. These are, I guess they're just modern pieces, common. Look at that. I'm going back up here to this little box. Oh, look at that. That's kind of, that's kind of pretty. Appears to be in very nice condition. They want twelve ninety nine for it. A little bit pricey for that. But yeah, it's got needs a little repair there. If that was a more reasonable price, I would pick that up and fix it. But that's kind of expensive. Well, we finally got there. Will? Aw, he's a hoot. <laughs> what is he? He's a votive he's a holder. Votive. Yeah, votive holder. Cute. Yeah, he is. He's cute. We have a little Uncle Sam bank. It's a very inexpensive piece, though. I need these trailers. I know. They look like project pieces, but they they're fun. Are. Too bad they're not better done. Let's see what else we have. This little vase back here. It's a mass-produced piece, as are these little candle holders. What do we have here? She's an angel. Again, she's very inexpensive looking. What else do we have? This is this definitely an older piece of glass. An old little saucer. Looks Depression era. Lovely pink. But it definitely is a saucer rather than like a trinket dish. We have panda. panda. And then we have some little plaques. We'll be friends until we are old and see now. Then we will be new friends. That's <laughs> kind of funny. $3.99. Those are kind of funny. Then we have a real friend knows when to start pouring wine, when to stop pouring, and when to hand over the bottle. And finally, I love cooking with wine. Sometimes I even put it in the food. <laughs> Those are kind of fun. What do you think of those? Three ninety nine each. I think we should get those. Okay. I think somebody might get a, a hoot off of those. Ooh. Look at this adorable bunny. Aww. He's so cute. He's, you know, he's feather light. It's very sweet, but it's kind of more of an Easter time. And then we have, of course, we have St. Patrick's Day. Missing some stones here. And then we have this bunny little wood bunny. He looks concerned. He does. And look at this piece here. It looks like a teapot, but it doesn't have a handle. Isn't that strange? A little strange piece. And we have a daughter is a blessing. Aw. Very sweet. Fortunately, that does have a, a boo-boo. And down here, William, look at these little toothpick holders. They went $6.99 each for them. Boy, again, if only 
those were another color. I would be on those so fast. But they're not that cut. They're very smooth. Feel that. It's so smooth. It's not oh, yeah. that sharp cut that you want right. in any kind of cut glass. All right. Let's... This piece is a little lopsided, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> that's because it doesn't really belong in there. Let's see what it says. It is signed Gray Feather, uh, and it's signed, looks like 2011, piece of pottery. How much do they have on it? I'm looking. Did they have them together as one piece? Oh, maybe they do. Oh, they do. That's gray feather too. Oh my goodness, that's really heavy. Really, really heavy. Way too heavy to ship. And honestly, it's lopsided. It's not beautifully executed. Oh, let's see what we have here. I feel like I've seen these before. These little eggs. Little egg dealies. And let's see. Oh, look at this dog. Aww. Little star on top. Sweet little sheep dog. I don't think it's terribly expensive. And let's see, I'm gonna we'll look down here. And Alaska, little souvenir piece. It's nice, but it's so specific. I'm gonna go down here and look at this little pottery here. What is this little piece? I'm gonna bring that up so we can see it in the light. That's awfully sweet. Does that look vintage? Hmm. What does it say on the bottom? 553. But it looks awfully vintage. I don't see any chips. I like the glaze. I want to pick this up. I How think much that's is it? uh 399. Nice. I think that'd be nice for tiny treasures. Absolutely. People who collect these, look at that unusual shape mm -hmm. and the graduated glaze. So I think we're gonna pick that up. Let's see what else they have. That piece, um, yeah, that's a homemade piece, and that's kind of a, you know, regular shape that you see a lot. Yeah, I think we got the one little piece out of there that's, that's nice. Let's look back up here. We have some coasters. That's kind of nice. Good times with great friends. These are... Nice little coasters. Let's see what they look like. They're an ocean theme, beachy theme, I should say. And it uh, looks like they're all alike. Made in China. I think those are nice. I don't think that they're fabulous, though. So I think we're going to leave those. Oh, this is a sweet little bird dish. Oh, it's missing some gold. Darn. Oh, here's a piece of Lennox, full lead crystal, made in Austria. They want $10 for that. It is Crystal Illuminations, an original work of art crafted a fine crystal. It's signed, hmm, that's very pretty. I think that would wash up lovely be a very nice piece. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Lennox has been doing really well for us. Oh, look at this little creamer or little pitcher, little tiny guy. That's attractive. Oh, I'm sure it's not a, a chip in there or let me see. I can't see. Is that, is that a crack wheel or is that just a line? I can't see. Let me look at me. What do you see? I think that's some crazy. Yeah, all right, we're gonna leave that guy then. And she's pretty, but she's $10. It's a little bit much for a piece like that. Oh, look at the dance. Couple dancing. Let's see, who makes that? Does it say? They went $9.99, but it's not marked. And we had this little Oh, this hangs. That's funny. It's a little hanging set. You know, it's funny, though, because wouldn't you yeah. think that if they clink at each other, they're going to chip? Yeah. That's kind of strange. How much do they want for that? They want $9.99 for that. 
just I just feel like that if they start clanging together, they would chip each other. Oh, look at this little vase down here. It's got some damage there, unfortunately. Oh, so does that one. All right, we're going to leave that. We have a little angel here. Five ninety nine, and that is Dacra birthstone angel for June. A little June angel there. What well, I see a shell back here. It is a natural shell, I believe, but it's terribly broken. So we're going to leave that. I like the little face on that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh no, look at the leaf. It's all broken. Darn, 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 darn. Okay, a little paperweight. And let's see down here we have a cuckoo clock that has its innards kind of fallen apart here. We saw some great cuckoo clocks in Switzerland, didn't we? Mm -hmm. This one needs a lot of repair. Um, it plays Edelweiss. Yeah, that's stuck. That's so sad because it's really attractive, but it would need a lot of repair and probably the repair bill would be more than it's worth. That's <laughs> a cute little birdhouse. Oh, that's lightweight. Really no way to hang it. Ah, oh, look. A murder mystery. Murder and the mob. Feels like things are in there. Oh, here's a little copper measuring set. $5.99 on there. Is that any maker? I don't see any maker in that. I usually don't do kitchen tools but it's nice for someone, maybe. All right, people, don't at me. <laughs> now we're moving into kind of the silver section. Let's see what we have here. That looks like a silver plate. Not marked. We're going to leave that. Oh, these are some... Oh, wow, that is heavy. Whoa. Those are some big letters. What's that tin? It's Mario, isn't it? I don't know. Looks he, like it. Well, yep. Yep. There we go. Because you uh, can't hold it like that. Yeah. Because he walks along and goes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What would that turn into? Mushroom. Mushroom. Comes out and he gets bigger. Yay! Little Mario tin. There you go. And is this what I think it is? Is this like a chow? Oh. How does it go, Will? It goes, you, it has to hang from somewhere, right? Yeah. And you go, chow, chow time? What does it say there on the label? That's what I'm trying to say. It says, upside down. It, it says, Texport, chuck wagon triangle. That's fun. There's no price on it, though. I don't know. Do you think anybody would like that? Yeah, let's find out what the price is. All right. Hey, everyone. I'm going to do the holiday section now. Let's see what we have here. All right. We've got a little Christmas village scene. Not very well executed. Lots and lots of different holiday stuff. I see Ray Dunn down there. It looks like Ray Dunn St. Patrick's Day with some Ghirardelli chocolates in it. That's probably going to be... Uh, too far away to deal with. Oh, oh, look what we got here. It's Katy Perry. Ooh. Katy, of course, is from Santa Barbara, just like me. I've had the great fortune of meeting her a few times. She's the sweetest person on the planet. She did a wonderful charity event. We were backstage for that. Um, these are just great, aren't they're they? They're adorable. Look at this. They're Christmas shoes by Katy Perry. They're $10 for the pair, and they are super clean. Look, they've never been worn. Uh, we've got Christmas in July coming up in just a few days. I think we are getting those. Absolutely. Those are put in the cart. Sure thing. Let's see. Oh, I see some Hallmark keepsakes. Let's see what we got here. Now, I personally collect the Star Trek ones. Always looking for those. 
Keepsake by Hallmark has the contract for Star Trek, Star Wars, Harry Potter, so many different ones. So you can find all your favorite franchises. Oh, look at this. The Lionel Freedom Train Sleeper. Imagine if you had your entire train car on there. That's cool. Very cool. $4.99. Huh. A little holiday mug here. You could give that as a gift to and from. $1.99. That's very sweet. Is that another Rudolph? We just saw a Rudolph up in Mesquite, and that one's nose lit up. This one's more plush. He's so cute, though. Love that original Rudolph. Haha, <laughs> look at this. Oh, is that a nesting doll? No, it's a gourd. Oh, is Santa off his gourd? And so is the uh, snowman. Oh, those are <laughs> those are cute. It looks like he's missing his floof thing there on top. Yeah. Darn. Ah, look at these bells. Mobile. A little peace mobile with bells. Oh, and then a gigantic well, Christmas Yoda. Nothing says Christmas like a Christmas Yoda. Merry Christmas. Have yourself a little. All right. What do we have here? <laughs> In the midst of all the Christmas, we have a St. Patrick's Day gnome. Oh, I see something back here. Perfect for making Christmas cookies. Ooh, Ooh look at this. A nice holiday roller with Christmas trees on it. Rolling pin. It looks... Uh, Looks to be in good shape. Yeah. What do they want? They want five ninety nine. Let's uh, let's put that in the cart. Absolutely. Very nice. What is that Christmas tree right there? Is that one of those lighter oh, ones? Oh, let's bring that down. It says holiday two thousand one. All right. Let's see what's in here. It says holiday two thousand one by Village Square, and let's see. Ah. Does that light up? I'm looking. Let's see. It's got a hole at the bottom, so it looks like you could put lights into it. Village Square by Mervyn's, 2001. Oh. Yeah, that's not an old one. Like yeah, no. Oh, well. Made in China. All right. Let's put that back. Let's put that back. I'm going to go through the process. And just for the sake of knowledge, they were asking... They were asking $10 for it, and back in 2001, it was $14.99. <laughs> Okay, here we are in the small art section, frames, basically. Let's see if I see anything. Well, this is pretty fancy. Look at that. Just a rhinestone frame. It's actually very pretty. Uh, what do I see? What do I one. see? I know. That's Claw busy. It's very busy. And it's kind of 70s. Look at the meow. meow print. Uh, let's look at the larger art and see if we see anything of interest. Uh, look at the legends print. I remember these from the poster shops in the 90s when I was a kid. So we have um, Jimi Hendrix, Buddy Holly, Elvis. John Lennon. John Lennon. Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. We got Janis Joplin and Bob Marley in the crowd, and Beethoven yeah. drinking a martini. There he goes. Shouldn't he be drinking a fifth? You'd think so. No, 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 no. This is a nice piece here. It's a new piece. It's not old, but it's kind of nice for a country kitchen. It's kind of got that Jim Shore feel to it. It is MJ McNoxky, but it's a chicken. So I don't think we're going to get any art today. So let's head over to the purses. Let's see what we have in the purses. This is Jing Pin. I'm not familiar with that name, but it's extremely lightweight. I don't think it's a very valuable name. Look at that piece. Nope. Used. Used, used, used. This one is... Charming Charlie. Feels very lightweight, too. Here's a relic brand. It's pretty small. And it's got some wear to it. What is this one? It's very boho chic. But it's unbranded and very used on the inside. This backpack. It's JM. It looks very new. Let's see what we got here. 
they want twenty dollars for it that's way too much for that it is new jessica moore but even if it's a good brand it doesn't which it doesn't really feel like it it's way too much for me to pay for resale that's an older looking piece is that fake light i don't think that but it's definitely an older older looking piece 4.99 i think it looks like it's brand new it's like it's never been used a little bit of wear there to see oh this there is quite a bit of wear hmm i don't know is it just made to look old hmm i don't think it's a very practical piece i am going to leave it i'm not feeling it well i don't think we're finding any purses here today so let's check out with our treasures well after a fun day of picking, we're at Red Rock Casino in Summerlin to enjoy some frozen custard at a new place called Nielsen's. This place is so much fun. It's got a real vintage vibe and there's nothing like frozen custard on a hot day. Look at it coming out of that machine. Yum. We each selected our favorite flavors and now it's time to dig in. Wow. That is delicious. Now, we'd normally start recapping at this point, but we're in a casino, so we can't help but try our hands at some slots. Look, Harleen got the bonus round. Are you kidding me? She just won over $100 on that spin. That's awesome. Woohoo! Let's cash out our winnings and recap everything we found today. had some great picking in Las Vegas today. And that was some delicious custard. Please like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. We read all of them because we want everyone to join the journey 